the nurse spreading is important because it's good for the land. We use it for everything. It pretty well cleans itself out. We haven't had any problems with the spread all. It can handle what you put on them. It'll haul anything. And it's done the job for us. The spread all is uh, a simple machine. And it does operate good with a big load. And it spreads good. And we just feel it's a lot simpler than the other spreaders that we've had in the past. Well, we, you know, we use our spreader probably at least 200 days out of the year, and it's important for us to get the manure out in a timely manner and to uh, utilize it as fertilizer as well as get, getting it handled in an environmentally sound way. We have to have good equipment, and it's done the job for us. We haul snow with it, dirt with it, um, sand, uh, manure, silage once in a while. It just unloads as fast as you want it to. One thing we like about the spread all is that it's about another foot and a half longer than any other spreader that we have used. So when we go to dump manure onto it, it uh, it's just two buckets is the, width, is the length of the spreader, so you're not overlapping in the middle and having a big mound. It holds 20 ton. The loader doesn't, it won't overlap it, and if you fill, you can fill that spreader up nice and even across the top. And when you get to the field, you know, you've got all that even distribution through the whole field because you have a, a whole, you have a load loaded to the max. We're uh, able to put an extra uh, dump or even maybe two dumps on uh, that we did in our old spreaders, and uh, which shortens up the hauling season, you know, quite a bit. So. In a month's time, I could shorten it up by three, four days. All the fact that the maintenance on them is easy and the settings, the floor chain setting is super. It's done with just one wrench. Now with, the, with the box, we've had no problems as far as the, the rusting. Another thing I do like that, that we can haul when the temperatures are pretty cold and we get by without it freezing in the box too much, uh, we can haul on some fairly cold days. Uh, and, and the maintenance, there really hasn't been anything for maintenance on that box. The, the material stands up good and actually doesn't show anywhere. The material slides out of the bottom easier. Uh, in fact, it's, it will, the big spreaders will pull out easier than any metal bottom spreader I've ever had. That was our big selling point, composite board, because you have less friction and it unloads. There's uh, less stretch to the chain and less uh, amount of pressure on the dry box itself. Oh, I like the end gate part where it opens up with the first and then the floor chain takes off after the end gate's all the way open. That's a nice feature there. It's, it's a big load and it just seemed like no problem to, to unload the load with it. We just have had very few problems. We've hauled a lot of loads already. It holds a big load. It's just a well put together spreader. Well, I've looked at a lot of manure spreaders and uh, I don't know of one that would be any better than a spread off. If we was going to go buy another spreader today, we'd go buy another spread off. There's only one spreader on the market as far as I'm concerned. I would definitely recommend a spread off spreader to anybody that was looking to call any kind of manure because it's so versatile in an operation with moving dirt and manure, you just can't beat it. Anything you want to, it's pretty much, it'll take care of it. This is probably the lowest maintenance spreader and the best working that I've ever had here. And uh, I haven't kept track, but there's thousands and thousands of loads hauled on them and we haven't had a problem. I think it would be a wise investment. I recommend it fully because I don't know of any spreader that can top this one. Thank you.